Well, <laughs> I about, I about had a nervous breakdown again. And not a, I keep saying nervous breakdown, but this was one like, I just about crapped a ton load of bricks. <laughs> because, I, and I don't think I've even shown this lately, but we finally got our drone. Um, and it's, it's really, really, it's, it's cool. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's fairly easy to fly. And I've probably flown it right around a dozen times now. And uh, so I take it out to the soccer field. I talked to the soccer coach. I said, hey, can I come film you? He said, oh yeah, no problem. Cool, that sounds exciting. All excited about it. So I take it out there and I mean, lots of grass, lots of grass, nowhere to go. Um, and I take it way up, <laughs> first mistake. And then I lose which direction it's pointing. And I, uh, my first, my first uh, reaction is, hey, it's malfunctioning, because it's just gone. And when something's so small, if you lose track of it, it's hard to find it again. And I thought, crap, where'd it go? And every now and then I would catch it, and it was getting smaller and smaller, clear out over houses. And I thought, oh, crap, what am I gonna do? There's a camera on there. There's a, it, you know, $1,000 just flew off into the sunset. And I go, oh, crap, I don't know what to do. I, I'm panicked, I'm, I'm running. You know, to the far west uh, boundaries of our school property, and I don't see it. And some kids are asking, hey, what's going on? Where's your drone? Where is it? And I go, it just took off. And they go, oh, that's pretty cool. And I go, no, no, you don't get it. It took off. It's gone. I lost it. And I go, really? No, where is it really? <laughs> I, go, I don't know. And so I'm looking back around, and all of a sudden I see it hovering over where I started. I probably you know, 100 feet up in the air. I don't know, I, I'm bad at judging how high it is, but you know, maybe as high as one of the, um, um, one of the, the stadium lights um, for the soccer field. And I, I just, I thought, I thought, holy crap. And then I remembered, oh yeah, this thing's got a GPS built in, so when it loses track, well, I knew that, I didn't forget, and I thought, and I was wondering the whole time when it was lost, I thought, well, do I turn my, transmitter off? Do I turn my remote control off and see what happens? So I think I did. And I go, well, what if I never get control of it again? And I th thought, anyway, I saw it hovering right above, straight above where I took off, um, maybe 50 feet in the air and slowly coming down. But the problem is I took it off in between two trees and I thought, oh man, it's going to come down in between two trees or it's going to hit the wall because it's real. I mean, it, Anyway, at Target, they have these little things about the size of a half dollar called stickets. They're little tiny GPS things, 30 bucks, little clock, I'm um, sorry, watch battery. I'm going to get a couple or one, I guess is all I need, and stick it in there. So, so if it ever takes off, I can go find it. I, I, I about died out there. Anyway, I have it back. I now have the footage. I'm going to look at the footage, see where the heck it went, and... Uh, I'm going to relax a little bit. See you later.